Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and TheElectronicLessons.com. Today I want to show you the Easy RFID Model 3. It's a lot like uh, the Easy RFID Model 1, except for it's got an onboard EEPROM on it to save your card data after, after power off. As well, it requires a, uh, a sequential code sequence to enter into program mode, so that no normal person can just say, well, I'm going to program in four new cards. So, uh, each card corresponds to an output relay you program them in separately. Uh, it comes with four cards but you can use your own as long as they're uh, 25 kilohertz cards or 125 kilohertz cards. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you. Um, I've got the outputs hooked up to LEDs right now and what happens is in order to get it, into, right now it's in scanning mode. So in order to get into program mode you have to press the buttons 342431. Now the buttons are labeled down here, uh, so let's enter it in. And once you enter in that code, again, I'll, I'll list all the instructions at engineeringshock.com. Uh, now it's in programming mode. Now this is switch 3, 4, 2, and 1. So again, the code is 342231. That'll put you into programming mode. At which point, if we want uh, this this card to correspond with this relay, this, to this card to correspond with this one, this one with this one, this one with this one, then what we do is first we press switch 3, pick up this card, bring it to the antenna, and when you hear that beep and see that LED uh, flash, you know it's programmed. So let's press switch 4. Switch 2. Switch 1. Now, in order to put it back into scanning mode sequence, you press 4 and 1 at the same time. So, uh, card 1. Relay 1. This relay. 5 seconds. Card 2. Relay number 2. Card 3. Relay number 3. And... Card four, number four. Now, if you've got some other cards that haven't been programmed, they don't have to be cards. Anything, any RFID tag or card that's 125 kilohertz should work. Uh, you'll see that it's receiving the signal, that little LED right there, but it's not doing anything because these cards haven't been programmed. These cards are extremely unique. You can label them. You can have the outputs work differently. Now, the RF Easy RFID Model Two uh, module. It doesn't have relays. It's got outputs that go from zero to high for uh, for 0 0.5 seconds and then low again. So you can customize your circuit and interface it more directly with your circuit. In fact, this afternoon I'm going to make another door lock circuit to show you uh, using some custom programming. But anyway, this just goes to show you this was made initially for a door lock. If you look at my last video, I actually show you how to use this as a door lock with uh, a solenoid. You power the solenoid with one of the relays, solenoid opens the door and closes it. So if you're curious and you haven't seen that video, check out my channel. Anyway, I uh, hope you've, enjoy you've enjoyed this. Visit engineeringshock.com to see all three models and all the other interesting kits and modules that we have. I know I keep saying that voice recognition is on the way. I'm not lying. It's just taking a lot longer than I anticipated it. Standalone, standalone easy RFID, standalone easy uh, voice recognition. No PCs required. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful.